just do it, man. Free bag, man. Hey. Put my big brother line. So much shit that I'd have been through. He's uh, perhaps one of the, so the top promoters, uh, one of the top DJs, one of the top personalities uh, on our campus. He's a very positive young man, uh, and his, his reputation goes beyond the campus. Reminiscing about the past, I was down on my ass. You broke my heart forever, so bitch, why would you laugh? I'm going I'm through the same shit that me and my back with glass. I never want to lose you, so why you treat me like trash? You know, so even just throwing parties here for the school, you know, can't be like, you just been, you know, really dope to just watch it. You see him change. You miss me when I'm making plays. Lord, wipe my tears away. Yeah, yeah, Lord, wipe my tears away. My tears away. Jonathan Franklin, um, well, um, you know, most of us know him by John John, but had the, had the pleasure of uh, meeting John, I think, in 2015. And, uh, you know, I think yeah, there's one true. thing that I remember most about John John, at, not just being a football player, he always was very business minded and funny as hell, too. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, even though he came out and, uh, and uh, when he hit the field, he was trying to do his best. He's always, he's always about his business. He's always about trying to figure out, you know, how to make a dollar. You know, while he was out on the field, and I admired that about him. He didn't, he didn't think that I knew, knew that. But uh, the kid was always, you know, trying to, trying to uh, play ball, go to school, and trying to figure out how to make a dollar also. And that was one thing that I, I never told him, but I always admired her that about him, that business savvy he had about him. Bullet flying, niggas dying. Don't even try to stop my shine. I hope so, bitch, that's why I grind. A Jesus kind, I got a mind. I hope my mama to stop from crying. In fact, um, uh, one day I was sitting in my uh, sitting in my, my barber, and, I, and the conversation was going on as it does in the barber shop. And uh, the conversation got to a point where I was able to just throw a little uh, comment, and I said to uh, the folks in the barber shop, I said, "Well, one of my students." Uh, has this phrase about, he says, uh, stack and don't starve. And I said that, and the barbers and the, the, the barber shop just came alive. And they said, John John, you know John John? And I said, yes, I know John John. I know him, know him well. Um, this young man has an absolutely uh, bright future. Uh, he has what I say sometimes that you can't train. While we can prepare him with an education, while we require him to be in chapel, and he's faithful in chapel, and he can, he can, he can develop spiritually, and he can develop uh, intellectually uh, in this place. That's that one ingredient that I think you just have to be born with, and that's just that courage, uh, that panache. Uh, you might say it, I might say it, that swagger. Uh, that's something that you can't necessarily train, and he has it to go as high as the good Lord, and he will go together. Being a college student, man, really ain't easy, man, because you got to really balance, like, you got to balance your life, your personal life, and you got to balance school. So I recommend anybody, you know what I'm saying, that go to school and go to college, man, to, like, this. never quit, though, like, because it's, like, always, you know what I'm saying, a bigger picture to things. Like, don't think about the small things. Think about the big things. Like, yeah, when you get out of school, you might be in debt, though, but just think about the bigger picture, what you can do, how many relationships you can build, how many, like, you know what I'm saying, relations you can build with teachers, like folks from out of town, different cities, like how many like, you know what I'm saying, relationships you can build for us, like with business you want to do. Like ain't no telling who you might meet in, in school though, so I want to recommend, you know what I'm saying, everybody just go to college if you're going to be as though. College is for like building relationships and networking, bro. So if you're here, just don't waste your time, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying, like real deal, take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. Like life really is all about what you make it though, man. So like. Just mind, do you mind and stay positive, bro, and stay on, you know what I'm saying, your pace, bro. Like, don't real deal rush and let social media and all these things around you rush you. Like, go at your own pace, bro, because life, you know what I'm saying, is not, it's not a sprint. Um, you know, as a freshman from Chicago, Illinois, and, you know, I first, you know, heard about John John through the parties that he was throwing from campus, but... The longer I stayed here, I went on to find out that he was doing other stuff behind the scenes that I'm not even sure too many people even knew about. Like aside from 
you know, getting his uh, little company, Stack of Starve and everything together. He was also playing for the Lane College football team. And, you know, that was interesting to me to find out that in spite of, you know, the grind that, you know, students see as far as parties going, that he was really doing something behind the scenes, like getting his own company and, you know, playing football and stuff. Like, I don't know too many people here um, who at a young age, like John John himself, that's, uh, you know, has that wisdom within them to say, okay, in spite of just doing, you know, what everybody do, just focusing on parties and just things of that nature, I don't know too many people that say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get my own company started off the ground, and I'm, and I'm still in my 20s. Like, I don't know too many people like that. Lion College Mine really plays a major role in my career, man. In 2015, man, I decided to come to Lion College in Jackson, Tennessee. Someday I hope to get my own company and everything off the ground. And through his achievements, you know, and watching him, he's taught me how to, um, you know, promote my brand and everything. Make it through the night. I'm dreaming and wishing that I can start catching flights. If you up it on my boat, hey, shout out to Stacky Star. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get money just like me, you feel me? Okay, man. Okay, man. Stacky Star ENT, man. Nigga, know how we do this shit, man. We just came, man. Just Tennessee, we just turned this bitch up, man. Hey, Sunday, man. We turned this bitch up. Next time we go. Twerk a go party, man. Twerk a go party. We get money, we stop playing with that shit. We doing this shit, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Man, when I first came to college, man, people, uh, when I first came to Lane College, man, I was telling people I was going to be part of the most. When I first came to Lane College, man, I was telling people I was going to be part of the most and shit. Like, you know, motherfuckers didn't believe me, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, I don't just believe me, you know what I'm saying? So, I had to really deal make my name, so I came to Mike Mike. Shout out my homeboy DJ Mike Mike. I was just letting him know, man, what I was going to do. I was like, man, I'm going to come and turn up, man. You know who I do? I do this, I do that, I do that. He was just looking at me like I was ready to nigga. I mean, which. I, I understand him because a lot of niggas probably come to him and tell him what they finna do and they be lying. I promise God, like, man came and seen my first party, but he was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, ever since then, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas been on go mode. Like, I fuck with, I fuck with my mic, you know what I'm saying? Never been no competition, you know what I'm saying? Never been no hard feelings or none of that, bro. But like I was saying, like, bro, we doing this thing here, but when I got here, you know what I'm saying? It was a whole new era, bro, graduating, man. So, like, motherfuckers were trying to make it like a competition, but you know. You know what I'm saying? I always didn't know that I fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't just like, nigga, my own man. I'm a part of the most whole soul. Which, which being said, man, I came here really in my own life. You know what I'm saying? Making parties, doing my own things. You know what I'm saying? Really did having everybody come from Memphis to turn up. Bro, I be having special guests, artists, and bruh. Like, and then one thing about me, I'm consistent, bro. I'm consistent with this shit, bro. And just shout out my homeboy Mike, my man. Shout out to everybody. Man, I done had everybody at this motherfucker, bro. I done hosted every, everything. Really, I done hosted Black Youngster Concert for uh, Lane College Homecoming. I done hosted everything from the Young Ma, Lil Quill in Nashville. I done hosted Lil Baby Concert all the way in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Shout out my homeboy Bun out there. Shout out my folks Bun out there in Kentucky. I done hosted Yo Gotti Concert out there. I done hosted Money Bad Yo Concert in Louisville, Kentucky. I done hosted my plenty of shit out there, bro. Like, countless, bro. My, my name hold weight. My resume is long, bro. And shit, I just been taking advantage of all the opportunities, bro. Shout out everybody who gave me an opportunity, put me in position to do anything, bro. I appreciate y'all, bro. Like, for real, because without y'all, it wouldn't be no me. Like, a lot of people tend to forget who put them on and put them in position, and not me, because that's how you earn your blessing, how you get your blessing, man. So, just thank y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. And then, man, like, my clothing line been on the rise and shit, too, man. Like, I got. A lot, of, a lot of teachers and faculty, man, everybody wearing this shit, bro. And it's just so amazing, man, like, to see people walking around in my clothing line, bro. I got teachers and administrators, they rocking with me. So it's just motivating me to go to new heights and expand, man. Hello, everyone. I'm Charlotte Ritchie. I am the Director of Housing and Residence Life here at Lane College. Um, I'm here to give my attributes to Mr. Jonathan Franklin, better known as Jun Jun. Um, Mr. Franklin, along with myself, have grown here 
together at Lane College when he first came here um, I just barely worked in the residence hall um, Mr. Franklin barely played football so we all have grown here together um, I see Mr. Franklin I have seen him grow into a businessman he is the um, epitome of the Lane College saying he came here as a boy and he is leaving as a lame man Thank you. Good luck to you, Mr. Franklin. The sky is the limit. I might never give up, man. Stay down in what you want, man. And whatever you want to do in life, go with it. Never let nobody discourage you or determine what you can and can't do. I promise, man. Everybody will laugh. Ha, 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 ha. But I swear to God, man, in that life, man, you're going to have people that doubt you no matter if you're doing good or bad. They still going to hate you, man. But I just want to say shout out to Lane College, man. Shout out to all my supporters at Lane. Because I can say, man, ever since I've been here, I've grown. I've built relationships with a lot of people. And my, I swear to God, man, this, this school just changed my life. And I can say, ever since I've been here, man, I done had plenty of up and coming artists has come here. I done, man, put the school on the map, man. I got my brand clothing line, man. My brand clothing line started in 2017. And um, I got teachers and everybody wearing my clothing line. And it's just, my, my whole brand is just a positive mind state on the campus, man. It's just promote, like, the way of life. Like, you're going to stack or you're going to starve, man. You're going to wait on somebody to get you. And I feel like it's a way of life and people can adapt to it, they can, you know what I'm saying, relate to it. So I just been taking advantage of this whole college uh, experience, man. I say uh, up until now, fast forward to 2020, man, I just want to thank everybody that support me because without child, it would never be, it would be, never be John John, man. It never be where I find John John. I just want to shout out to all my supporters, man. Shout out to everybody that helped me along the way. I'm nothing without child, man. Shout out to God, man, because without him, I wouldn't even be here talking to y'all right now. Shout out to my homeboy, Lightning Visuals, man. I'm shooting this documentary, man. The life of world finding John John, man. Hey, Wayne College documentary, man. Hey, I promise, man. We finna turn the fuck up, man. I promise, I love Lightning College, man. It's just mine. I've been here since 2015. And I promise, man. Even since I've been here, it's been love, man. I play ball, I play football. And I play football up until. I say like 2019, but I got here in like 2015, so I played football my, all my years here. You know what I'm saying? It obviously it didn't work out though, but you know what I'm saying? Those are what I want to do in life, but you know, God opened up doors for you. You know what I'm saying? Different doors and new doors and different chapters in your life, and you'll be thinking like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you can't never question God, man. So, like I said, man, I just thankful for what God has done for me. Like, I got my own brand, CEO of my own clothing line. Um, like, I just, I'm a, I'm a graduating senior, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to get my bachelor's degree in business management, man. And I'm a small business owner, man. And my advice to anybody out here, man, is where I never stop. Never stop. Never give up on your dream. Even if you want to quit, it's going to be days you ain't got it. It's going to be days you will feel day you feel down, man. Look, dig deep, man. Keep pushing, man. It's going to be worth it, man. One thing I had to learn, man. One thing I really had to learn was you got to love what you do. Once you love what you do, I promise, man, all the hard work and perseverance is going to pay off. You got to have love and passion for what you do. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say... Shout out to everybody that's real deal rocking with world family John John, man. Shout out to everybody, man, that's taking my journey to success, man. And keep rocking with me, bro. I appreciate you.